Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Injustice 2, issue number 6. Now as you know, this follows the events of the second game, where we have Supergirl in action with her Doom planet and Earth. And it starts off how, are you ready? Uh, no? No one's ever re really ready. Kara, don't worry, your father was terrified. I wasn't, jor -El. I had to push you. You didn't have to push me, you wanted to. And thought it was funny. I was nine years old. And I was torn <laughs> tormenting my brother. I was funny. Do you need a push? Uh, no. And so she lands down with a perfect landing. And riding a dragonfly sort of creature. So as soon as they get home, Kara's injured her arm. And her mother gives her a, a sedative of some sort. To make sure she has a nice sleep. And to let the arm heal. So meanwhile... Brainiac shows, six years later, Brainiac shows up and attacks Krypton. And like, jor behind you! And... This is they let their guard down. One of Brainiac's drones kills zor -El. Yeah, you'd think they probably would have stopped all the mushy stuff and got to blasting. You're in a war zone. You can't let your guard down. And so they... And so... Jor Zorel dies, and Jorel is left feeling bad about, about his brother's death. And Kara's mother says, Jorel, where's your brother? He's. He's not coming. It's alright. He'll make it. But don't wait for him. Take this. He's not coming, is he? He didn't make it, Alora. None of us are coming to make it, are we? My son and your daughter will, if we act now. Kara will need his cousin to look after him. <sighs> Our world may be done, but Krypton's heart will continue beating in my them. Go. And so, Kara's mother rescues her daughter and ma manages to get to a prototype rocket, where Kara watches in horror as her home world... All her friends, family, loved ones, pets are all gone. And she sees that Carol is in a ship and they both leave. Well, Carol's ship is damaged and doesn't make it. So, 25 years later on Earth, Carol's ship makes it. And until you think it's Superman, it's Black Adam saying, No, but I am this friend. I am his friend. You can trust me. So... So, mainly Black Adam says, I don't know how long you are in that craft, but your muscles have improved. You're Kryptonian. And so, it turns out the, the army from, the, from enemy borders want to talk to Black Adam, and so confronts the leader and uses his Shazam abilities, which actually shows to be much stronger, which I'm guessing that... Since he's now the last, the only one left, presumably, to have Shazam's base powers. And they try opening fire on him, which you think the army leaders would flee, because they're dealing with a powerful, for mystical being. And meanwhile, Vixen and Animal Man watch what's happening and leave to tell Rachel Ghoul. And so they talk, so... Black and makes it back where Kara explains, I watched my home will die. And so Black Adam tells a lie to Kara about mainly poisoning her mind, telling her that Suman was a good guy, but after the loss loss of Lois due to Joker, but never really gave her the full story. Cause if you ever ever read the graphic novels or the comics, Suman became much, much worse. And Batman was the only one, one in the Justice League, to oppose this. Others joined Batman because they knew Superman was going too far. Others like Green Adam, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Cyborg either did this because they felt it was right, either it was out of fear, either if they were being poisoned or brainwashed. And so, he mainly tells about how he brought other dimensional beings, which I'm guessing in Kara's mind are meant to be like... Demonic creatures and manages to tell her all these lies, showing that he has no care about manipulating 
a 15 or 16 year old girl into believing what he wants and points out that they need to rescue Wonder Woman and that he's in Paradise Island. And so Blackham says, first you must gain your strength, your abilities, you don't know, you will learn soon, I will prepare you. And so they mainly get ready for the upcoming breakout and at the same time, time Black Adam will help Supergirl learn about these abilities. And so, this is the story. What I think, definitely not bad, because we do see how Black Adam is going to use and manipulate and poison Kara's mind, showing that he has no guilt or remorse for manipulating a young girl. In my point of view, there is good and evil in people, and it depends on who you side with. True, they may be constructs, but to me, they're mo mostly lessons. So I give this a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.